They're all dead! They're all fucking dead! What the hell's he yapping about? Take a breath! Who's dead? The whole crew. The 76 lookout guy. Some fucking tourists killed him. Kill all of them! Shit. Did you talk to the boss? Yeah. He wants everyone to hold their ground. Watch the gate. All right, you heard him. Search the area. Do not let anybody through. So, the hunters are all dead. Right? So how could they possibly be in part two? Well, that certainly makes it seem like it. Hey everyone, my name is the iPad Cat, and today I'd like to discuss the Hunters in The Last of Us's universe. Why the events of The Last of Us Part 1 not necessarily mean that they are gone, and their role in Part 2. But before we get into that, I just want to remind everyone that there now is an official The iPad Cat Discord server. Join it through the link in the description, and come chat with me and other The Last of Us fans about everything and anything, and find out whatever I'm up to and when new videos are in the works. Maybe even suggest a video topic yourself, or discuss one of your own theories with other people. We have 8 members as of right now, but there are 123 people subscribed to the channel, so go ahead and join. But with that out of the way, let's get started. So firstly, let's begin by defining a hunter. No, not that definition. Rather, the definition of a hunter in the universe of The Last of Us. Many people seem to have the sentiment that the people we encounter in the now abandoned by the military Pittsburgh quarantine zone are the only hunters, and thus define the hunters as that. People who revolted as Fedra in the Pittsburgh quarantine zone and took over it. But are those really the only hunters in The Last of Us? I don't think so. I present you with this dialogue. You know. No what? Not I've been on both sides. How did Joel know about the hunter ambush? He has been on both sides. Furthermore, why would he say fucking hunters? See this could have been us. Yeah. I think this is pretty solid evidence that the hunters in The Last of Us are not just the group in Pittsburgh. A hunter could instead probably be more defined as a group of bandits who either attack or wait to ambush others to steal their resources and in the process neutralize what they perceive as a threat to their survival. This means that we actually encounter hunters twice in the story, in Pittsburgh and at Tommy's Dam. Something speaking against this though could be The Last of Us's multiplayer. Instead of being different hunter groups depending on which map is played, the hunters there seem to be meant to be specifically from the Pittsburgh quarantine zone, as they frequently use the term tourist. Fucking tourist! The ones attacking Tommy's dam do not use it. But then again, there are women in the multiplayer variant of the hunters, which the ones in the story do not allow. Also, why would the hunters from Pittsburgh, who are perfectly safe in their base, travel out all across the country just to find supplies they could easily get from ambushing people coming into town. No, I think the reason why hunters using the term tourist appearing in different parts of the country in multiplayer is because Naughty Dog needed to make it clear to us players that this faction indeed are hunters. And what better way to do that than to use their most iconic term? Some fucking tourists killed him! Anyways, since it is multiplayer we're talking about, I don't think we should take the narrative of it that seriously. So let's continue. So now, with that very long discussion of what a hunter is, I think we can say that the hunters are not all dead. I mean the hunters in Pittsburgh are probably all dead. The ones we didn't kill, which were probably very few, since they seemed to throw everything they had at us in the suburbs, are probably also dead by part 2, since their entire organization would have fallen apart which in turn would mean they couldn't protect themselves after the events of part 1 and thus they either died or scattered. But there are other hunters out there, 
and most interesting are the ones who attacked Tommy's dam. Right now, it seems that there is a lot of focus on this cult, the Seraphites, in The Last of Us Part 2. They've had a lot of screen time and a central role in the last two trailers, so why would the Hunters return? Unlike the Fireflies or the military, we haven't heard or seen anything about them in the promotional material for Part 2. Well, like I said in my video on the Fireflies in The Last of Us Part 2, them not being in the trailers is not an indication they won't have a role in Part 2. In the first game's promotional material, it was all about the Hunters. We got cutscenes from them, they were heavily featured in the trailers and were the faction shown in the E3 demo. Sound familiar? In The Last of Us Part 1 we had five factions. The military, the fireflies, the hunters, the cannibals and the people in Jackson and Tommy's dam. Though we barely saw any of them in the advertising. But the full game didn't turn out to have a sole focus on the hunters, did it? I think it's the same with Part 2. Anyways, back to the hunters who attacked the dam. Why are they interesting? Well, here's an idea. By now you probably know about the violent act that will disrupt Ellie's normal life in Jackson and set her out on a journey of revenge. With the material we've gotten so far, it seems pretty obvious that this violent act is committed by the cult, right? I mean, we see Ellie wearing Dina's bracelet and hunting down the cultist, so that gives it all away, right? Well, now we're back here again. Obvious. Whenever it comes to obviousness with Naughty Dog, you should know you're on the wrong trail. Nothing they do is obvious. Maybe they want us to think that the cult are the ones that attack Jackson to mislead us. What if it was the Hunters instead? It would make sense since from what we know, the cult is based in Seattle, which is not exactly that close to Wyoming where Jackson is situated, especially in a world of destroyed roads, a shortage of working vehicles and infected hunting you at any chance they get. So if the hunters are already in the area of Jackson, it seems far less of a stretch that they are the ones who attacked than a faction based in an entirely other state. That would of course pose the question as to why Ellie would hunt down the Seraphites instead of the Hunters. But we're talking about the 15 hour game we've seen 15 minutes of. A lot of things could happen. Anyways, that's just what I think. What do you think? Do you agree with my theory? Disagree? Do you think the Hunters will return in part 2? And if so, how? Tell me in the comments down below and let's discuss it. And until next time, have a great day.